Welcome back to All Access. I'm here now with Pete Inarato to give us an update on Rowan teams currently in action. So Pete, let's start with the Rowan's women's soccer team. Uh, last year, they had a strong start going 7-1 and one through the first eight games. Uh, once again, Pete, are they off to a strong start? Uh, well, indeed they are, Chris. The team has started 6-2, and two, and Rowan's offensive attack has been the key to their success so far. Now, the Profs have outscored their opponents 25-5, to five, and they've also outshot their opponents 153-50. to 50. Just like last year, Erica Soule has been the biggest contributor. She has six goals, four assists, and 16 points. And she leads the conference in points and is tied for first in goals. Now, the Profs have also won their first conference matchup against the tough Keene University squad. All right. Looks like the women's soccer team could see the same success as they did last year. Uh, but sticking with soccer, how is the men's team, men's team looking so far? Well, Chris, the men's team is also having a good start to their season. Uh, the team has gone 6-3, and three, so they are off to a pretty good start since Vinny Ignatowicz and Travis Ward are really setting a tone for the team. Ward is ranked 6th in the NJAC in points. Other than that, the team is ranked 5th in shots, points, and goals. They are on a five-game winning streak, and as of today, hopefully they can keep that momentum going throughout the season. All right, let's jump ship to a women's volleyball team that has its up and down so far in the season. Uh, well, yeah, the volleyball team has gotten off to a 6-7 and seven start, and like you said, Chris, they've had their ups and downs. They've started off the year losing three straight games in the NYU Labor Day Invitational, and one of those losses was to Center College, who is currently 4-10. and 10. Now, the Profs did turn it around winning three straight games, and they also won their first NJAC matchup against Rutgers Camden. Now, the problem has been their hitting percentage, which is currently 137. And the blocking has also been an issue for the profs, as they currently sit second to last in the conference with an average of just over one blocks per set. Um, and also, Chris, you want to mention that with some key uh, conference matchups coming up, it'll be interesting to see if Rowan can uh, repeat as conference champs. I mean, that's really something that we're going to have to look towards. Yes, yes. And uh, also, what about the field hockey team, since we're going to move along? Mm -hmm. Well, the field hockey team has gone off to a 4-3 and three start going into conference play, so they're right around that 500 mark. And in their last three games, they're 1-2. and two. Now, offensively, they're led by forward Sam Brown, who has nine goals and three assists on the season. Not too shabby, but the team has been finishing well, outscoring opponents 13-5 to in the second half. Their first conference matchup will be against William Patterson, who is 4-4 four four on the season. Okay, to finish it off here, let's talk about the football team, which has gotten off to a very, very rocky, rough start, going 1-2 and two for the first three games. Now, they, while they haven't played a conference game yet this season, like what, they're predicted to win the NJAC title. So, Pete, what's been going on with this props team? Well, Chris, when you really dissect it, I think the problem with the football team is the offense at the moment. The team is second to last in average points per game with only 15. In their losses to Widener and Wesley University, they were held to just seven points. Now, quarterback Bill McCarty is barely completing 50% of his passes and has two touchdowns to six interceptions. Uh, the only bright spot to this offense has been the running game. Star running back Wither Marcelin has averaged 72.66 yards a game although he was held to just 25 yards versus Wesley. Now, the good news for the profs is that the defense is just allowing 25.5 points per game, which ranks second in the conference. Now, defense wins the championships, Chris, and Rowan does have a bye week this week and will return to action next week against the NJAC opponent, SUNY Cortland. So it's something to look forward to. At least, Chris, the defense is showing up. All right. Uh, before we close the show, Pete, I want to like to ask you, you know, one last thing. What matchups are you looking forward to for Rowan this week? Uh, well, the first one I'm watching is the volleyball team taking on Hope College, who is currently 11-0. and I mean, they're 11-0, man. It's going to be very difficult to beat them. And in the Worthington Classic, when you're 11-0, that's pretty impressive. Um, now, the Classic with a big win and get some momentum going, can they do that? That is the big question for them. The next matchup I'm watching is the men's soccer team versus Rutgers Newark. Now, the Scarlet Raiders are 8-2 and on the season, and the winner of this game will be in first place in the conference. And now lastly, I'm watching the field hockey team take on William Patterson in the first conference game of the year. It's going to be very interesting to see how the profs start out in conference play. Uh, and that's something we're going to look forward to, in my opinion, this week. Thank you, Pete. And that will do it for us here at All Access today. I'm Chris Shardigal, and for everybody on the entire team here, we'll see you next time.